This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Kyle on the channel. Managed to get fifth place at the Manuscrew Regional in Northampton with... Uh, Phantom Knight. Phantom Knight. And you made the switch quite recently, actually, didn't you, to the deck? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And it's worked out quite nicely for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a bit, I've, been, I've been playing with it uh, on and off for a few for a little while. But I thought, you know, I'll pull the trigger, decided to pick it up, and yeah, it's worked wonders ever since. Okay, cool. And what was your record in the end? So, the record in the end, I finished fifth place out of 45 players. I finished with a record of four wins, one draw, and a loss okay. in the final round. So, X11. X11, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, we're going to get stuck into the deck in just a moment. Just before we go any further, if you guys are watching and you want to get singles on the cheap, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Use the code RUFIO15 for 15% off. Right, let's get stuck into the deck profile. Okay, take us away when you're ready. All right, guys. So, sign off with three copies of the single best Phantom Knight ever created. Torn Scales is absolutely insane. I'll say you play three copies of it. Effect, discard, send a PK. Uh, it can revive itself, so it's an extender plus a starter. You know, you play three copies of a bit, why wouldn't you? Yep. Uh, three copies of the Silent Boots. Silent Boots, obviously, another extender. So you can try PK, so that shows itself. Also, searches your spell and traps, which is obviously really, really great. Yep. Uh, two copies of the Ancient Cloak. Searches out your, mon your, your monsters. And then the one copy of your Ragged Gloves and the one copy of your Sustain Grease. I see a few lists that not, don't play this, but honestly today it was a great extender, so I would definitely play it going forward. Yep. And that's it for the PK lineup, very standard PK lineup, but I'll say it's standard because it's the best lineup. And I'll say three copies of Tour Guide. So Tour Guide's a risky one where you have to play three copies of it because it's a one card, obviously, combo. Yeah. But if, you, if I ever had a way where I could do a combo without having to gnaw summon this, I would do that. Because basically, a lot of the times, if you gnaw summon this and it gets negated by, say, Ash or an Imper or anything like that, your turn basically just ends unless you have another extender in your hand. Yeah. So, obviously, it's a, it's a really great card. It's a one card combo. So you play three copies of it, but it's a risky one. But yeah, she's it's, still it's a really great card nonetheless. And uh, three copies of Kagamushanite. So the before the tournament, I was debating whether or not to play two of this and a cool buy, but I ended up going with the three copies of this anyway because uh, it's an extender, obviously. So we like extenders, yeah. and also hand traps aren't really that relevant in the format currently. So. We decided to go for this, and it worked out really great. Every time I opened this game, it's like open this. It was just really obviously great because extenders. Yeah. And then going into everyone's favourite, Graf and Sit. For whatever reason, Graf was actually glued to my hand all day. Like I opened this card more times than I opened like a lot of other cards, which is actually just stupid. You, ha I have a combo where you can unbrick this card, but it's a bit less optimal. But yeah, yeah. oh well, it happens. You have to play them. I'm saying they're just there. We like graphics here. And then into the other generic extenders uh, one tracker and one wielder. Uh, so, obviously, if you control a level three, you other than them, you can special summon from your hand for free. Yep. So, obviously, extenders. And then Jack and Snack. Obviously, really great extenders. You're guaranteed to get a level three off either one of them. So, why wouldn't you? Yep. And then the actual best card in the entire deck, Terra Top with Tracker Yeah. So this card's actually insane because it is a one card combo without having to use your normal summon. Yeah, yeah. So it just helps break through those boards. It helps make insane boards going first. So, and I, also, just like Graf, this card was glued to my hand all day, which, I, which I'm, not, I, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. And uh, Tucker Tomborg is a sort of pseudo extender where, if you have left, when you go into Levy, if you have it in your hand, you can special summon it for free because you control a wind. Yeah. So, it's sort of, it's not the best, but it's a pseudo extender nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, Tomborg, if anyone's looking to get into the PK, play this card. <laughs> there's, um, there's no two ways about it, it's just that good. Yep. And then that's it for the extenders. And then hand it on to the uh, other cards uh, Dasher and Celestial. 
Obviously, the DP package is too broken in this deck, so you have to basically play it. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, just like, again, this card glued to my hand, I don't know why. And then obviously, the Scythe. Yeah, everyone's favourite artifact. Uh, I see a few people not playing the Scythe block, um, I don't really see why. This card is actually just insane, this whole combo is just insane. The amount of games I've won just by locking my opponent out of the extra deck is just yep. absolutely broken. And then heading on to the hand traps, you're going to play the six, which is Droll and Nip. Now, I've literally about two days before this um, tournament, this was Dark Roller, but um, me and a few of my mates were also testing. And Deep Nibiru is better than Dark Roller, and I will fight anyone who disagrees on this. So against Sword Salt, it's a lot better. Against uh, uh, decks like Bird Up, most of the time they'll have Oath. So if they open up a hand where they can't go into Draco Future early, then you drop this card on them and they honestly just lose. So I get to a bird player today. I opened both this and this, and it, yeah, well, we, you can tell that I won that one. Yep. And then that's it for the monster line for the deck. Uh, heading on into the spell cards. Of course, the three copies. Fusion Destiny. Uh, obviously, just... It's really, never bad. It's never, it's, it's never ever bad to draw this card. If anything, it actually saves you uh, doing steps in your combo. Yep. A lot of times, um, uh, if I open this card, plus combo, my board is even more insane because you don't have to worry about going into Verte, losing your life points and all that sort of stuff. You literally just drop this card, yep. which is obviously just really great. Right. And then uh, two copies of e -Telly and the one copy of Rota. No, yes. to, no need to explain. Extender, extender. Yep. And then heading on into the trap lineup, the three copies of Fog Blade, the one copy of Brigadine, and the one copy of Wings. Uh, some people play sword, but wings is better because it can actually play around evenly. So if your opponent goes battle phase, you just chain the wings and then send to graveyard, so you don't lose as hard to evenly. Yeah, there's a few other like really niche players that come up. Yeah, exactly. But against a um, a IDS player today, uh, they had DPE and I also had DPE, and they activated their DPE. But I chained this, so obviously they then have to pop one of their own cards and they're a DPE, which is just won me the game from there on. And that's it for the main deck, 44 cards in total. Uh, it worked out very, very well today, and I definitely wouldn't change it going forward for this current format. Uh, so side and extra? Uh, head into the extra first. So one copy of Link Spider, yep. use this to link away your uh, Brigadine. Uh, one copy of Cherub, uh, one copy of Verte, <laughs> one copy of Dagda, and one copy of IP. So uh, that's just stacks. Yeah, it's pretty um, standard. Right? Um, IP, I find myself going into this more if, say, I go for Open Fusion Destiny, just to make your board a little bit that bit more insane. Uh, and then Cherub actually won me a game like insanely earlier, I think it's Sword Soul. And also, it has the effect where the cards at points two can't be destroyed. So I literally just sat on there, sat on it while summoning my XCs is breaking my opponent's board and then their blackout was just done. Uh, so I'll see, that was just great. Uh, then, uh, see, Bardish, Unicorn, and the Apollosa. So you, you don't, need to, standard, you, you don't yeah. need to explain Bardish, um, Bardish, the card's just insane. There was a reason it's banned. And then heading into the XCs lineup, two copies of Breaksword, best XCs in the whole deck. Helps break boards, helps extend. It's just insane. Uh, one copy of Levy, uh, one copy of Redor. I play Redor over Nightmare. We were testing Nightmare for a while, but Redor is just infinitely better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Downard and Zeus. Yep. Zeus came out a few times today and it won me a game. So I'll say Zeus is just Zeus is Zeus. Zeus is Zeus. Zeus, is Zeus. Yeah, you play Zeus. Yeah, obviously if you can play Zeus, but you play Zeus. And then obviously for the actual last card of the deck, the MVP. Phoenix Enforcer, the act just card's insane. Uh, DP Cyphlock is too good, and see, also it's a card that they have to constantly deal with. You keep popping it and summoning it back, and it's just the thing they have to constantly deal with. Uh, this card won me uh, the match that secured me the top cut today. So obviously against Prank Kids, you just kept I just kept popping their normal summons, and they couldn't get off. Yeah. So this sort of thing just is insane. Uh, so that's it for the extra deck lineup. Very standard in my opinion. If you're playing the side package. But it's standard because it's the best. And then heading into the side deck, 
the IO, which is insane. Free uh, wins. Free wins, obviously. Uh, dimensional Barrier. Now, this is a, a tricky one, because we were playing, so I was going to play Finn Chalice, but I uh, gave it to a mate of mine, and I decided to let him play it, and also we were testing this as well, and this card's also quite good. So against something like Sword Soul, uh, if you don't have proper way to get into your DP package, it's basically another DP, uh, another Scythe, if you think about it, because they like you, yeah, you call Synchro, and they basically just can't play. So obviously, yeah, that, that's just absolutely insane against other decks as well. You just call whatever they mainly play and it just locks them down and then you just kill the next turn. Yep. Uh, game Boot, uh, I never actually used this card today, but against trap decks, uh, it's just insane. You just, like, no traps, what are you going to do? Yep. Uh, then for the monsters, three uh, copies of Lancia and then the one Pankatops. Uh, so Lancia, really great against the mirror match, really great against, um, but it's okay against birds. Sometimes they can make their full board without them to use it, but uh, it's great nonetheless. Against the mirror match, there's a lot of PK players here today. It, um, also, it's just really great and essential to having that. And I'll say Pankatops is just Pankatops. Uh, into the spell cards, we are side decking the Dark Gorilla no more. So against more of those like heavy combo decks or like Dragon Link or Drytron or anything like that, this is obviously just insane. Yeah. And then uh, three copies of Cosmic. Cool. And that's it for the whole deck. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I really appreciate it. Any no shout outs before we go? Uh, okay, so I've got a few. Uh, first of all, I'll say shout outs to Jam Jam Cards UK. Uh, they support. They hooked me up with quite a few cards, including the DP package. So shout out to them, obviously. Shout out to Mana Screw, best locals in Northampton, and then uh, a few uh, just single shout outs. First of all, shout out to Thomas O'Neill, one of my great friends here. Didn't shout. Didn't have a great outing today, but still, he's a great man nonetheless. Yep. And then shout out to a little shit who's currently sitting behind the camera, who's whispering me, shout me out, shout me out. Uh, Fabian Kempner, uh, another really great player. He's one of the younger people here, but man knows his shit more than a lot of people here. Uh, he helped me test out quite a few cards here, including uh, playing the nib over Dark Ruler. So shout out to him, obviously, and uh, shout out to also Joe for giving me this platform to show off this deck profile. And a shout out to everyone here at Manuscript today. You know, um, if you, so I've been a player of this game for a few years now, and you know I've never thought you know that I'd ever top a regional or do anything of this magnitude. So not only topping the regional, but it being my first regional as well, and being able to top it is just an absolute dream come true, man. And uh, definitely, it's built my it's built my confidence up a lot more in this game. And yeah, that's great, good. That's great, good. That's great. what it's all about. Well, it's a great time. congratulations on your top. Well done. Thanks, You've got man. your invites, and I need. To start saving some pennies in case Euros exactly. comes up. Exactly. So well done once again. Uh, you guys, if you're watching, you haven't hit subscribe already yet, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit the notification button if you've done that as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.